In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the important generating plant that is hydroelectric power plant. In India, almost 197 numbers of hydroelectric power plants are there. All of them are them having the installed capacity about 25 megawatt. The largest power plant in India is the Hri project that is situated in Uttaragand and the installed capacity is 2400 megawatt. So, hydroelectric power plants having very important role in the generation of electrical power. As the name hydroelectric means the hydraulic energy of water is converted into the electrical energy at this power plant. Right? Here in the schematic arrangements you can see the necessary requirements for a hydroelectric power plant. The basic requirement is the reservoir. Reservoirs are the catchment area for collect the necessary water for the uh, generation of electrical power. And dam will be there. Dam is nothing but a barrier that can store the water and creates necessary waterhead required for this. Normally made up of concrete or stones or such kinds of strong materials. From this reservoir, a pressure channel is starting from there by carrying water to the valve house. And at the starting point of this pressure channel, there will be some mechanism for filtering the water from the unwanted things from the reservoir. And the filtered water from this region entered through the pressure channel and reaches to the valve house and between these points or at the starting point of this pressure channel there will be a surge tank. We can discuss about the function of surge tank after some time. Okay, at the valve house water is entered at this point and there will be some valves provided to protect the penstock. Sluice valves which you can control the water flow to the penstock and an automatic isolating valves will be there. They can control or cut off the water to the penstock whenever it uh, burns. And this water from this pressure channel entered to the penstock and that will reach us to the power station or power house. Power house are the area which will convert the hydraulic energy of water into electrical energy and the rest water from this power house entered into the tail raised and finally to the river and what are the function of power station power station you can see in this figure here you can see the penstock the penstock reaches to wall power station okay right and at the power station, starting off power stations, there will be some valves for controlling the pressure into the turbine. And after that, there will at the tip of the penstock, the diameter of the penstock will be very very less. And the region is known as nozzle. From the nozzle, water is directly entered to the turbine. Here the leaf of the turbine you can see that and the pressure of the water from this turbine is controlled by providing some governing mechanism at the tip of this turbine and the governing mechanism can control by opening and closing of this governor we can control the pressure of water into the turbine and the nozzles are provided at the 
tip and the diameter of this nozzle is very very less when compared with the diameter of the penstock penstocks are also very very strong made up with a very strong material like steel or reinforced steel reinforced concrete or steel can be used for the construction of the penstock here we can see a pelton wheel turbine pelton wheel turbine what are the classifications of turbine based on the action of water on to the moving blade it can be classified into two categories impulse turbines and reaction turbines impulse turbine include pelton wheels they are mainly used for high heads almost above 200 meters 200 meters in in kerala the largest hydroelectric power plant is molamattam power plant in idiki district and the installed capacity of that particular plant is 780 megawatt the speed will be 375 rpm and due to the availability of this high head pelton wheel turbines are installed in that plant and second category is based on the action of water onto the moving blade that is the reaction turbine the reaction turbines can be kepler turbine and francis turbine and the francis turbines are mainly used for medium heads that is almost between 30 meters to 200 meters medium turbines are provided at that case and the plant turbines are provided for low heads less than 30 meters and here i shown a pelton wheel turbine water from the tip of the penstock that is from the nozzle water is entered to the turbine and the action the pressure of this water will rotate the turbine okay and at the turbine at this point the hydraulic energy of this water is converted into the mechanical energy and due to this mechanical energy the turbine will starts rotate and at the center of the pelton wheel there will be a shaft due to the moment of this turbine the shaft will also rotate and the shaft is mechanically coupled to the ac generators or synchronous generators are simply alternators they are coupled mechanically coupled and at the point of generator the mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy because the shaft of the turbine is coupled to the rotating parts of this ac generator and due to the rotation of this turbine this shaft will rotates and this rotating motion will lead to the rotation of the rota rotating parts of the alternator and that will lead to the production of rotating magnetic field and that will lead to the generation of power electrical power at the stationary part and from the stator the three phase supply is taken into transformers and some other controlling techniques protecting devices such as circuit breakers and isolators or some other techniques provided in yard nearer to the generating station and from there the supply is given to the bus bar and we will get the electrical power from there so in hydroelectric power plant the hydraulic energy is first two energy conversions are taking place here first the hydraulic energy is converted into the mechanical energy at the turbine and this mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy at the region of AC generators or alternators and from there uh, it is connected to the bus bar and we can use the electrical power from there and if we want to control the water to the through the penstock some valves are provided 
okay already i told you about that and whenever the load on the turbine decreases the governor will closes the gate of the turbine and this will reduces the water uh, supply to the turbine and the excess of water at the lower end of the conduit will back to the surge tank and increases the water level for this purpose first at the beginning of the conduit there you can see a surge tank okay surge tanks are nothing but it is a, we can see that it is a small reservoir or a tank at the top of this tank is open and in which the water level may rise or fall to reduce the pressure in the conduit or mainly pressure in the penstock okay during the peak load time can uh, reduce the peak load time we can improve increase the water level and from uh, during that time automatically the water from this reservoir will enter to the pressure channel and we can control the uh, action of the turbine and during the base load or uh, if the load on the turbine decreases the governor starts to close the turbine and the suddenly the pressure inside the turbine get sorry pressure inside the penstock will get decreases and this may lead to burn the circuit burst the circuit in order to avoid and by reducing the pressure just the excess of water from this lower penstock will enter into the surge tank and thereby we can control the pressure to the penstock and if during the peak load time this entered water from this surge tank will directly to the enter into the penstock and thereby can control the turbines and by maintain the electric generation of electrical power in this case okay these are the major things about the hydroelectric power plants and in hydroelectric power plant they are very highly reliable and very cheapest to form cheapest in operation and maintenance the initial inst initial cost installation cost of this turbine is very high when compared with the other generating plants such as steam or thermal power plant or a nuclear power plant and diesel power plant the initial cost is very very high but the running cost <coughs> is very less when compared with these plants and maintenance cost is also very less and it is very pollution free and, and something like that many advantages are there for the hydroelectric power plants okay these are the things about the hydroelectric power plants okay thank you